the day is here. <laughs> it's time to get the uh, transmission the rest of the way out of the coachman and get it off to the transmission shop for a rebuild. I have a feeling you're not going to be much help again. You're, you were no help last uh, in the last. No, no, we're not going in the car. No, no, no car rides today. We got work to do. Uh, I think I got the necessary tools already out here. Uh, today we're uh, again. I take this uh, my portable set uh, down there with me to save from making a bunch of trips back and forth to my main toolbox. It's up front of the garage there. Uh, let's just take a nice set down with us. A uh, couple of things here. Like uh, you've seen this set before. You know it. It's it favors sockets an extensive socket uh, set with uh, a minimal amount of wrenches. Uh, other sets are more stronger on the wrench, the wrenches, with just a few, uh, a more, uh, uh, a smaller amount of sockets. So I wanted the larger variety uh, with just a few wrenches because I have lots of wrenches. Now uh, this only goes up to nine sixteenths. So for what we're doing today, I want to take an extra, uh, the next three sizes up. I think we'll encounter uh, the five eighths, the bent eleven sixteenths, and uh, this good old uh, three quarter inch been with me a long time <laughs> it's uh okay and uh what else we got to take them down there with us okay let's close that up i'm gonna take a drain pan just as a more of a carrying thing i don't encounter any fluids today uh this is just gonna be a little carrying uh just gonna act as a basket we're gonna take our wrenches and our wd-40 some tiles i like to take this little mini wrench set down with me sometimes uh instead of even sometimes instead of digging in here uh sometimes i just use these as a gauge uh i'm reaching up in somewhere to say okay what size is that nut or bolt um i can just quickly grab them is it that size <laughs> is it that size um before i go digging a rule to, uh how many times you reached in and out like uh, that socket don't fit dang it maybe it's this one dang it yeah, sometimes I just use these as like a gauge, or they do come in handy for uh, tight places. Uh, so I like to take that set along. We got, uh, in addition to the socket set, it does not have a universal or a swivel. And uh, sometimes you got to get in there and um, things are happening at an angle you can't, can't quite get to. I couldn't find my 3 8 drive. One of these, this is half inch drive. But I have it adapted down to three eighths. Uh, that's probably going to come in handy today. Yeah, I couldn't find the three eighths. And uh, we've got two uh, our make it happen or tools. And we'll, uh, eh? and an extra extension. Might have to do a little bit of reaching. And uh, my rechargeable impact. This thing's pretty strong. I, I, I really like this tool. Makes life a little easier. First, we're gonna get the cardboard back out, get it underneath there, we have something to, something to lay on, get the tools under uh, um, under there, and uh, we're gonna have to get this new transmission jack out of there and uh, yeah, get it underneath there too. Uh, I did look into renting one. It's uh, almost $40 a day to rent one. So the rental place is about oh, five or six miles that way <laughs> and i'd have to rent one twice so that'd be 80 bucks plus going over there and back four times all right i'm not i don't have a transmission laying here it's not like i'm taking the old one out and putting another one in that i can just use it in one day this one's got to come out drop it off the transmission shop for a handful of days or a week or whatever um so you know i'd have to pull it out i'd have to go over there and get that thing pay for it Come back, unload it, do this part of the job, return it. Yeah, it's about almost 40 bucks for the day. And then when the transmission gets done, have to go back over, get it again, bring it back over, get the transmission, take it back and get it's four, it's over and back over. <laughs> That's four trips and 80 bucks. To me, it was uh, made more sense just to go ahead and buy one. I'm not gonna bang it all up or, you know, it's gonna be, uh, and then I'll just resell it. I'll put it on Craigslist for Marketplace. And uh, that 80 bucks, uh, I'd be surprised if I took that much of a loss on it, on this. Um, uh, even if I break even or, or close enough, either way, give or take a little bit. 
Um, that's fine. It saved me a lot of running back and forth and uh, messing around. So I'm going to put you back inside. Unless you're going to come under and help. And I don't think you're, yeah, you're not going to, you're going to go inside for a while. Okay. <laughs> no, not the car. You're not getting inside the car. Come on, this way. This not, not the van either. No, not the... <laughs> Come on. She says, dang it. Maybe you get this coachman fixed, we go for a ride in it, huh? Done. The inside's okay. All right. I think we're ready to go under. Did we forget anything? The the fewer times I have to crawl back out from underneath her here, and then back under, and back out, and back under, uh, the fewer times I got to do that, the better. All right, this is part two of the, uh, the transmission removal. Uh, this whole transmission job, uh, this is part two of the removal, and uh, we will finish getting out of here. So and then it'll probably be part three and four, or at least part three of uh, putting it back in when we're, we get it back. But the part one was removing, uh, some, getting some things removed, getting it, getting it ready to come down out. If you uh, missed that video, uh, I'll link it at the very end of this one. You can go back and watch that, uh, getting all things unhooked uh, before getting ready to do the... Uh, or, all we lack now is uh, you know some bolts were actually bolted to the engine and the uh, transmission, uh, uh, the cross member, where the transmission mount... Uh, the transmission is supported in the back by this cross member that goes from the frame one side to the other. So, other than that support, and I'm bolting from the engine, this should be ready to come down out. But uh, anyway, just to uh, briefly, if you've seen that last video, you know we uh, got the, dip, uh, the dipstick tube out, unplugged the vacuum modulator, and took the, uh, the, uh, the transmission coolant lines loose. That's all that was on this side. And we had to take this, uh, the cover off that uh, you know, keeps debris and stuff out of the, uh, the, uh, um, the flex plate area and the uh, torque converter area. So we got the three, the three bolts out of the, uh, the bolt, the torque converter uh, to the flex plate. They go through here and thread into the front of the torque converter. Those three are out. All right. And on, on the other side, there was just, uh, anybody remember? What was over there? The speedometer cable. Uh, the shifter uh, the shifter linkage thing here and uh, one plug there's a wire that went for the uh, uh, it goes up to the carburetor um, on a bounder it was actually a throttle body but there's a throttle positioning uh, sensor or kick down activates a kick down switch over there um, it's just a simple um, unplug it sort of thing and then uh, finally we took the uh, Got the drive shaft out of it, uh, and uh, that's it. That's all the uh, kind of the externals, we'll say, all unhooked. So uh, we'll get. I'm gonna go ahead and get the. Uh, I'm not gonna put the transmission jack under here just yet, because uh, it'll be in the way for um, until. I need to do a couple things first. Uh, I can get all the uh, transmission bolts out of it. I'll leave one in each side. Well, there is only six, so uh, we'll take a get the rest of those out. We'll leave one on each side, just kind of snug. We'll already have them broke loose and just there, just, just holding things until we get the transmission jack under it. And uh, I want to get all the bolts out of this. It'll stay put because it sits up on the frame. Okay, this uh, where is it? Yeah, that sits up on top of the frame. So I'm going to get them bolts out, and there's four more up in there so it goes a full on the inner part um on the top of the frame and the upper part or the lower of the frame so i get those four bolts out. i can do the same and uh believe me it's not gonna just fold that out <laughs> and what we'll do is probably jack the transmission up and um slide this back out of the way um i didn't think about it uh i think all the previous transmissions i've done is they just bolted to uh, a section of the uh, or like unibody vehicles that didn't have full frame so it was just unbolting them and dropping these down out of here and i really didn't give it any thought oops i almost burnt myself in this light um until somebody mentioned it in the comments and i'm like oh yeah I, um there should be room to just uh 
uh, unbolt it and then uh, um, get it off the, the transmission I bolted I bolted there and then uh, just jack the transmission up a little bit and uh, slide it just slide it back uh, those frame rails a little bit that side that side just um, yeah just uh, slide that on back and uh, it can just stay up in there I don't actually have to take it down out so I appreciate the uh, the pointer the tip there I may have I probably would have just figured that out uh, myself <laughs> eventually um, yeah, I loosened it up and started moving it. I probably thought, I figured out, yeah, I can get it back far enough. There's, there, as long as there's no things in the way like that uh, exhaust hanger, I think there's gonna be plenty of room to slide this back in the rail without before it goes banging into anything. I've already sprayed this side down with a uh, WD-40, uh, and uh, I already got that five-eighth wrench up there. I'm glad I brought it along. That's the, the head bolt up there. I have to find the right socket. We're starting on this side it's easier to get to so i can uh it's just easier to locate which tools is needed and then when i go over to the more difficult side i already have in hand uh what is needed easier to determine on this side so we got them sprayed down a little bit i'm out of pb blaster or almost so we are we got plenty of wd-40 i soaked them down with that so i'm gonna get the right size socket and for uh up in there get these things out of here uh, I know my little my little impact tool is not, not strong enough to break these things loose. Uh, I'll break them loose by hand. Maybe. Ho ho ho. I'm gonna have to get out I'm gonna have to get out my air tools. I have to get some real some real force on there. Or uh I could put a cheater pipe on the end of this ratchet. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be the hardest part of breaking these loose. Not a big deal. I got the I got the tools to do it. How about that? How about like a little bit of extra grunt? That's the that's the tool. That's the most important tool. Alright. Alright, see if I'll get this other one out here. And like I say, it's still a time saver to uh uh zing them off the rest of the way with that other tool. This is a little, this one's a little trickier to get to. And hold the wrench at the same time. Come on. Oh man. Come on. Well, this is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be the trickier one. Hey, can one of you guys hold this wrench up here for me? Yep, sometimes a third hand that comes in handy. Uh, yeah, Bella was just more helpful. <sighs> Just takes a little extra grunt. All right. All right. Now we can get this off. Now we'll get out our. Uh, now we'll get out our other tool. Off. All right. Spin in, get the wrench on it. Off. Let's not lose any washers. Don't lose any parts. Okay. All right, you guys get the idea. I'm gonna get and work on those upper ones there. They're gonna be uh. <laughs> you've seen the grunt it took with uh, the easier, easy to get to ones. <laughs> I gotta find out how to apply that same grunt. Uh, a little harder space to work in. Could be tricky. We're gonna thread that back on a second, give this little bump. There we go. Alright, I'll get our bolts all out of there. Alright. See, that was that special make it happen or tool. Should be another washer up there. There it is. Hey, we had a bit of luck. Those actually came, uh, broke loose a lot easier than the, the easy to get to ones. Um, um, so, got a little bit lucky. You know, they were tight, but they broke loose pretty easy. Uh, maybe it's because that WD 40 had a few more minutes to soak, huh?
or maybe it's just done a lot. All right, we're gonna get them uh, zinged on out of there. Now we'll just jump over the other side and get them out. All right, and what I didn't notice, <laughs> when I was in the garage looking for that, uh, my 3H Universal, um, there is one that belongs in that set, but uh, in my main tool set, but this set in this case also has one. So um, I'm in, I'm in good, uh, good shape now. It works like a universal joint. Well, I mean, it is. Or a swivel. Okay, so you can drive it. You can drive something. You know, on or off at an angle. Okay, so hopefully uh, that's going to work here. I need my other extension. We need a little bit more reach. Wait, where's my... Where's my... Probably gonna need to get this 5 8 up top here. Hopefully it stays on. Let's see if we can have enough angle. Enough angle to the dangle. No, there's still not enough. Oh, because I've got this. Because the exhaust pipe's in the way. Hang on. You, somebody's, gotta, somebody's gotta move here. You guys are gonna have to move a little bit, okay? I hope this works. Yeah, I really hope this works. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Voila. Grab that washer. Alright, now I'm gonna go get the other side. I'm not gonna bother uh, taking you guys over the other side. This is tricky enough, I think. Maybe, maybe we'll see. All right, this side, I did get uh, the bolts out of the top side. Uh, this side's all done. The uh, other side is being a little bit more stubborn. Uh, I got the top, uh, the top's done. The bottom is, I don't know, like really tight. Uh, I was hoping I didn't have to break out the big gun. I didn't get the air tool. I have a half inch uh, impact and a three eighths impact, a three eighths uh, air ratchet, all air tools. But this beast here is the most powerful thing I own, actually. It just sounds mean. You won't believe how much power this has. And it's a cordless. All right. This one here. And that one right, uh, right down there. The, uh, this tool. This is a I'm not messing around. I'm not playing any more games tool. If this doesn't get it off, we go to um, a cutoff wheel or torches. Yeah, we'll, we'll melt it off if we have to. That's uh, <laughs> it can't be tight if it's liquid. That's right. I didn't think you'd mess around. This thing will take the lug nuts off a semi. I, I, I'm not kidding. Well, off of a big class A anyway. I took them off the bounder without like any effort. Come on out of there. Uh, this tool has something like 750 foot pounds of torque. Is that crazy? Out of a rechargeable tool? I love rechargeable tools. Let's see if the other one puts up a fight. Come on, socket, get back on her. Okay. You ain't messing around. No, come on, get on her. We are not messing around. Didn't think so. <laughs> see? Gotta have the right tools. I gotta get a wrench up on that one to finish it off. Okay. Come on. It's already the hard part's done. Come on. Where's where's it? Where? Oh there it is. That's right. Ain't messing around. Alright, now that the uh, cross member is all unbolted on uh, both sides, there and over there, I just had that one uh, nut and washer holding the uh, transmission mount down. Uh, when, I get, when we get the jack under here, we'll, uh, we'll jack the transmission up a little bit so that that stud goes up through that hole. And then uh, we should be able to slide this thing back out of the way. So hopefully the hard part's done for, uh, yeah we just need a jack at this point for back here so we get front here take those last couple of bolts out of the uh that's holding the transmission to the engine 
and uh, we should be ready to get that jack, uh, that jack over here. All right, let's move up over here on this side. Okay, y'all recognize where we're at from the last video. It's uh, the side that had the dipstick and the coolant lines on it and the vacuum modulator. And up front here is where it's uh, molded on the engine. All right, uh, I already broke this one loose. Uh, see where that wrench is at? That's on one bolt. And then up above it, up there. Uh, up there, where? Where is it? <laughs> okay, kind of in the shadows there. But uh, that's that one right right there. Um, that's what I held the dipstick tube on. And uh, I actually put that bolt back in and just snugged it up. I'm going to take the, uh, and there's a, uh, there's two more up the top so i'll take this top out of the, uh, this top two out i'm gonna take the bottom two out on the you know the bottom one on each side out i also look, i like to leave that middle one in uh, uh just because there's somewhere to shift once i get this jack going here and, you know for some reason somewhere to shift uh unexpectedly i wouldn't want to be on the just on the bottom two or the top two it just seems like if something really got out of control could possibly crack the case I know that's crazy, right? Um, but I think it's just say, uh, safer to, to have the uh, middle two in on each side. You know, being on the very bottom of the case is the thing where to somehow uh, I take that cross member out, the, the, the jack shifts, and uh, the whole weight of the transmissions on these bottom two. I think I could, uh, you know, it might be able to stress the, the very bottom ears of the transmission case enough to you know, possibly damage it. Probably not, but better safe than sorry. I, I like to go with the middle two. So, uh, the top two, some of you that, that are, uh, you know, familiar, okay, this is a Class A, so maybe it'd be easier to take the dog box off the top to get to those top two. But I'm not going to, because they're as easy, I can reach in from the side, from the wheel well, over here. Yeah, I can reach in from the side and, and get to that pretty easily. Uh, to me, that dog box, actually, I have stuff on it. I, put, I built a desk on it. There's a desk and my computer and believe me there's other things uh working around as uh, desks sometimes do uh so i would rather just reach in and grab those from up here it's really not that difficult yeah it, it's easier than doing that on uh in my case so we'll get these uh i already broke this one loose we're gonna we're gonna get these uh out of here and uh get, and then get that jack and uh go get the jack out all right we've come up here in the wheel well Probably sounds like we're in a tunnel and uh yeah never mind this uh exhaust manifold thing <laughs> that job is coming up uh yeah back here the top two uh transmission bolts are you know they're, they're right there pretty handy that's uh not too hard to get to them i've already put that ratchet on there and socket so uh i'll get those two those two top ones out and uh yeah, and here's the, here's the middle one. So uh, they're just they're just snug. So they're all out. They'll be done. Just those two left, and we'll go get the jack, get it under there, and get some uh, weight supported off of this, and start getting uh, the cross member out of the way, and those bolts out the rest of the way. We'll get this thing done out of here. Um, I'm ready to pull this mess out of here, and then we'll go get that transmission jack out of the box and. Get it under there, get some support under that transmission. Take those last two bolts out. Uh, yeah, pop that cross member back out of the way and let her down out. All right, I think I'll keep these things handy. Uh, and that big old pry bar. I left the pry bar and hammer out here just in case. Uh, we need to kind of manipulate things a little bit to get them moving. The, uh, I thought I'd mention this here real quick. Um, you know, I get so much stuff on Amazon. That's where this came from too. It's a, it's a TMG is the brand. Uh, I looked up torque specs, and I mean, it's not quite a DeWalt uh, as far as torque, how powerful it is. But there are some out there that are cheaper, uh, but the torque, it, uh, if you look at the torque specs, they're like, you know, barely half of this. This rated right up there, really close to, to the DeWalt, at, uh, uh, quite a bit less. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, you just search for half-inch drive rechargeable impact gun so yeah half inch drive rechargeable impact gun and uh look for the tmg brand it was the uh, most torque for the dollar that i could find 
So, and I, I keep this in a coach with all the time. Uh, can make life easier if I need to change the tire or something. <laughs> or any other job for that matter. All right, yeah, all the sockets and everything's all put back in there. The other stuff that came out of the toolbox is put away in that toolbox. I like to try to clean up as I go. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, all right, let's get this thing out of here. Pretty tool. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, I got a little bit of assembly work to do, I guess. It is from Harbor Freight. It's a Pit Pittsburgh automotive brand, 800 pound total lift uh, uh, transmission jack, or low lift uh, transmission jack. They do have a cheaper one, but uh, I got this one for a reason. It has a couple of features. We'll get it out of here and uh, I'll show this to you real quick on how how uh, how much better than features are going to make things work. Alright, there are some parts of this that I don't think we're going to use. And before you say, well then why'd you buy a transmission jack? Why did you just didn't use why don't you just use a floor jack? These four things are um, and you'll see why here in a second. Yeah, these bolt on the on the uh, the four quarters. Okay, and they are designed to, oops, sorry about that. They are designed to kind of trap the transmission safely on the jack. Okay, so, but we're going to have a clearance issue. Uh, that's part of, uh, it's kind of what comes with doing it on the ground over there. You know, I'm, I can only jack the coachman up so high. And I can jack it up a little bit more if I need to, uh, but this thing as it sits i believe is eight inches from the ground okay then you figure out how tall the transmission is on it okay that's we're gonna let that down out and the transmission is not going to come out from under the coachman there's just no there's just no way um if we were just kind of manhandling you know if i got an extra set of hands or two and we just manhandled it down out of there uh, which we've done back in the day uh, and back up in. But if we just man and just set it, uh, the transmission plan pan flat on the ground, there's probably enough for it. You can drag it by the tail, um, the tail of it and get it out from underneath the coachman. Okay, that's just not an option, manhandling it out. Uh, it just, just not, we're just not even going to do it, even if I did have an extra set of hands. I need to, uh, back to why we're not going to use these, is I don't need, because if we just let it down, Here's the deal. I'm gonna have to let it down so far and then kind of get a couple blocks of wood or something under the one end of it and get this thing out from underneath of it. All right, and then kind of weasel its way down a little bit uh, to the ground and get it out. So these being on here, that means we have to actually lift the transmission up and um, <laughs> and then you know pull it out from underneath of it. I don't want these in the way. That's not the feature, and it's kind of a nice feature when you got the room to work for it. They, they, they are, I, I guess. Um, but unlike a floor jack, this does have a nice big surface to put that pan on. But what this is going to do is, right out of the gate from uh, just the, it has these two adjustments on it. So you can, you can adjust the tilt angle, okay? All right, so you're making it tilt back. And it goes quite a ways. I forget, I forget how many degrees it goes. Uh, but you can tilt it forward or back so we can kind of match it and get it up underneath the pan kind of get things set but uh, or, or to the left and right and then strap strap it on here which it does have that we'll get to but and more so when we put it back in okay this this thing is going to play the biggest part when I put it back in and that's because well, it has the left and right thing too the transmission mounts to the engine on two dial pins and you know it can be tricky business a little bit uh, uh well, especially if you're laying you know we're not in the garage with a lift and the proper tools we're really on the ground getting the thing lined up with a floor jack i mean this is gonna be nice and it's just gonna be sitting on this and uh, you know it can tilt left and right to 
um, get the two dial pins lined up nice and get the bolts lined up nice and oftentimes the, the transmission will be a little bit of an angle too we can adjust it we can adjust it front to back um, to get the gaps even and you'll see how that's that all works out you'll see why this is a very useful and important feature on this job as we move forward but being a hydraulic jack with a nice big base uh, for the pam those two adjustments those those are the big things for it and uh the cheaper one came with a strap this one came with a chain the uh the strap would have been fine uh we really don't need it doesn't need to be a chain the transmission is really not gonna you know what it's gonna sit on there pretty good and uh it's, it's just not gonna be a lot of side force or it's not gonna be trying to run away from us but i'd been much happier matter of fact maybe i should go dig out one of my little uh uh, nylon straps it ratchets down so this just goes on here like this yeah I'll have the nut bolted on uh, there's oh there's a hook for tighten it somewhere yeah I have to bolt it on bolt it on the other side and then there's a catch here okay. it goes up and over the transmission and then you just on this thing okay so the transmission will be fastened on here it's not going to go anywhere yeah I don't know if a chain was necessary um anyway I, I gotta mess with this a little bit and then uh get it drug around the side of the garage to the coachman okay this part is kind of laughable yeah why they why they why they use the chain look at this hook okay so this will go up and over the transmission okay we're gonna we're gonna grab a we're gonna grab a thing over here this will go up and over it yes i'll take them all out and then you can hook it that. and then snug it down it has this thumb screw on on each side <laughs> you want to snug it up a little bit uh but this is kind of ridiculous it <laughs> that's kind of light duty uh, but it's plenty for it just doesn't need to be real tight we're just gonna snug it on there just to keep it from shifting it's not really gonna go anywhere uh, like i said let me get this around over there and get this figured out get it going all right we're back under here um uh, one thing I did notice, it has this, uh, here's a nice feature too, is the uh, the part that jacks it up. Okay, let's put the, put the, oops, sorry about that. So let's put this handle in here. Okay, and jack it up like a typical hydraulic jack, okay. But this moves around anywhere you need it, okay. If you're working on that side or, um, yeah, you know, a, a regular hydraulic jack, it would be back there. So if you're up here working... You know, it's hard to reach the whole way back there to you know, to reach the way but you know so you can just bring this over here uh, I, I like that that is nice <laughs> all right let me get this jacked up here a bit i'll show you what i mean about that angle i'll get it centered a little bit better too all right, show you what I mean about that angle here. See, we're up to where we're like touching over on the right hand side. And we're not over here. So, you know, when you're out here in the ground, you know, you're not all, always on even, even surface. So, you know, we can adjust that a little bit and level it out. And like I say, when it comes time to put this thing back together, being able to adjust that so that uh, the bolts and, well, the dial pins line up first and then the bolts too. Uh, that's uh that makes life so much easier that you can adjust this thing uh you know left or right to get things all lined up that's i really really like that probably the main feature why i bought it was for this when it comes to the installation time and you see too from front to back we have that we have that gap there we're touching up here and we have that gap let's see if we can go the right way let's see if we can go the right way dave let's uh let's turn it a little bit that way Alright, and uh, we still need to go just a little bit more. Did we do that? Oops, I adjusted the wrong one. Let me get that back to where it was. It's this back one. Oops, sorry about that, Dave. Okay, we need a little bit more here. Alright. Alright. Well, we got our first little bit of pressure off of it. Okay, 
Now it is coming up. The transmission uh, mount is coming up out. <laughs> hey boy, just a minute here. Let me get you. Let me get you like this. Okay. Okay, how about that? Can you, here, can you see from there? All right, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more. See if we can knock that uh, cross member out of the way. Are we clear yet? Oh yeah, I think, huh? Oh yeah. All right, let's see here. All right. All right. All right. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna take those two bolts out. Uh oh, I'm gonna make sure my all my limbs and stuff are out of the way just in case. Right. Probably a good idea. <laughs> We're gonna be all right. <laughs> all right, we're hooked here. That's up and over the transmission. We're hooked in this adjustable thing over here. I have it uh, pretty snugged up to you. Really not any slack in it. That's all we need really. So I guess I can maybe, maybe I should let some of the pressure back off of it. Keep in mind, I jacked the back of it up uh, probably a couple inches uh, to get that, to get that uh, uh, transmission thing I've done. Let's let this down a little bit, oops. All right, that's uh, huh? All right, uh, one more precaution uh, I'm going to take uh, is uh, there's this thing called three point contact. Okay. The engine and transmission, you know, well, when they're bolted to each other, when they're married up as one, um, you know, the engine has two motor mounts or engine mounts, and uh. The transmission has the one so together there they have three point contact well when we're going to take the back one away okay uh and remove <laughs> take the transmission off the engine is left sitting on uh, on one on each side so it can put a lot of stress on the uh, engine mounts and not to mention other things can happen the uh some models the distributors in the back up top it can come back and hit the firewall some models the uh different vehicles the fan is really close to the radiator it can make the fan kick and actually hit the radiator or go up and bust the, the uh, fan shroud things can happen if you just let this not to mention just rip your motor mounts uh if we just let that because the engine is not perfectly balanced on them it'll the engine's gonna want to um you know uh come back uh it, once it loses that back support so i got my little uh floor jack here all right, and we're gonna. Oh, it's just on a screen. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, so there's the back of the oil pan for the engine. There's the flex plate. Here's the torque converter. Okay. That's, so the, the torque converter and transmission is gonna come down out. The engine's gonna lose its support to the back. So we need to. We need to go up here and give it some temporary support. Yeah. This uh. I would say that this floor jack is seen, my little floor jack has seen better days, but it actually still works really good. It doesn't bleed down. Uh, it's dirty. It's been through a lot of jobs, but it's been a good one. It was just a uh, probably cheap. I probably got it at the auto zone or somewhere. I'm going to put a board here across there. No, I don't like this. I'll put this other board. It's, uh, I like this one better. So we're just going to miss that drain plug. Kind of center this underneath here and uh and just give the engine a little bit of support here just gonna give it just one little just a little bump okay. let's get some all right i think i think it's gonna be okay okay now the moment of truth here when i let this uh jack down any further it should uh the transmission should separate now it's the only thing that's sitting on now is them two dial pins uh and they've been together for this is 1987 they've been together for 35 years so they might be uh just a little bit stuck the the amount of weight involved here they're they're gonna separate <laughs> just gonna, <laughs> i get it Hang on, let's see, let's 
see what happens. The moment of separation here. I think, hopefully. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if we can get this little bit. I wonder how stubborn this might be. Right now, it's a good time when you go around just double check, make sure you got all the bolts out that you didn't miss something. <laughs> I might, get, I might get, the, get the old flashlight out and the drop light. And, uh, I know there was only six bolts in that bell housing and a torque converter is free. So, uh, let me have a little look around here. Maybe it just needs an extra wiggle. Maybe it just needs the, uh, the, the big uh, make it happen or tool to get in there and get something a little bump. Now let's have a view from back here. <laughs> it's just, it's just not separating from the engine. And you've heard me mention the uh, dial pins. Uh, they're, you know, they're probably five eighths in diameter, maybe more. In fact, those could be three quarter inch. Let's get up there and I'll show you what I mean. And if they're like really rusted, I mean, they've been on 35 years, they're dry. If they're like, I'm sure. They should have put some jack bolts <laughs> to help uh, force these uh, to separate them from each other. Let's see if I can point these out. I can maybe reach with this. Okay, here's the all the, you know, all the bolts. I did verify all the bolts are out. Boy, this is tricky. Okay, um, here's where. Did you see even see that? Here, the the bottom bolt went here. Okay, the this is the dial pin that is in between uh, the next bolt up so um and then there's the top bolt so this is a typical one for either side right bottom bolt the middle bolt and then the top bolt this dial pin here uh presses into the engine block uh, to the back of the engine block and then the transmission uh slides supposed to slide <laughs> slides on that and uh locates in a very precise manner on the back of the engine so those are pretty close fit they are a very precise location uh but these are dry it's not all the bolts are out <laughs> it should, and i grabbed hold of the back of the thing that i've yanked and wiggled and jacked it up and down you know wiggled it left and right and she does not want to separate Remember what I said earlier about saving a little bit of PB plaster for tough stuff? So I'm going to soak those, uh, I'm going to spray both of those uh, dial pins down and uh, let it seep in there and, uh, and then come back later to it, I think. We're back. I just, I left it have it. I, I hosed it down <laughs> and the other side. We're going to let that soak a while and, uh, we're gonna come back and do some more yanking, some more yanking and pulling. Dang it, this engine transmission has been married for 35 years. I don't think they wanna, I don't think they wanna be away from each other. I don't think they want separated. <laughs> we'll get her, we'll get it. All right, we left that soap for probably an hour or probably a little over an hour. Sometimes it just takes some patience uh we got some separation now up here where 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 is the uh all right let me, let me put you guys up in here a second all right i don't know if you can see this up here or not up above the starter Let's see if i can push you up this way all right there's a dial pin sticking out right there so yeah she popped apart all of a sudden it took a little bit of persuasion, but uh, she'll come down out now. She soaked and then I, I took my big pry bar. Like I said, it might take some persuasion. I took my old pry bar there and just give her a good ugh, couple of yanks and then finally she she popped loose. So we're gonna go ahead and get her down out of here. Mm, actually, this side is completely loose. Another wiggle. Another. There it is. Now, now the other side is loose too. <laughs> okay. All right. 
I think we can uh, give her a little bit of down. See if we can bleed her down a little bit. Okay, that bleeder thing's right back here. Huh? Come on, come on down here. Fill up. Boop, boop. Easy does it. Easy. Okay, I want to stop there a second because I, I did forget to strap these uh, lines off to the side. But okay, make sure nothing else is catching. All right, come on down out. Come on. Oops, let's move that one more. There we go. This lines are safely up over that little high spot. Can we go down any further? A little bit more. Why not? No, that's as far down as she goes. <laughs> so, I don't know what bottoms out in there, but you see what I mean? It's going to be a little hard to man i i was gonna i don't want to take this exhaust pipe out of the way uh oh let me think about this a minute all right not to get ahead of myself there but uh now even to get out past this pipe once we get out here a little bit further you'll see that you know that, i mean uh It has to come out off the transmission anyway, so somehow I need to. I might try to prop it up here in the front. Somehow I don't know. We're gonna yank this thing out, let that transmission come down on the ground, uh, and then I think it'll. I think we can wiggle it, wiggle it, and squeeze it out of here. Notice that chain is gone. Remember the chain that went up over and strapped it. I don't know if y'all any noticed already, but it, you know it's just a poor setup. It's the, the strap would have been so much better. Uh, so I just went ahead and um, took it completely off and put it out of the way. It's uh, it just was just not necessary. How's that? All right. Let's see what I can do here. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Just don't. Maybe we'll just push, force it out like that. And the, the good news is the back end. Uh, that cross member, it did clear the cross member. Uh, this thing's going to come <laughs> falling towards me. Make sure them lines are up out of the way. Okay. Okay. I might go get a strap and just go around the other side and just yank that jack out from underneath of it. I might, where's my little board? I might put a little board. I have a little board here. I have, a, I have another one too. I might, uh, I put something under here to do to break its fall. Just kind of step it down instead of it just being one big plunk. Yeah. Mm. All right, let me see what I can do. Here we go. Here's another hunk of board. All right. That's uh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, you guys got your fingers and toes out of the way? All right. There you go. There you go. Ha! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Ooh, let's leave that there for a minute. Let's get our, get our boards out. There we go. She is on the ground. <sighs> Alright. Alright. I think she's going to make it. We got to have to scoot it up a little bit. And then and get it out through here. All right, let's get this blinding light out of the way. We're done with that. All right, come on, transmission. Come on. Come on. How close are we? Come on. Oh, she's gonna just go up a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just all right, guys. Gonna need to get you out of the way, man. Come on. 
Come on. Listen to me. <laughs> Man and cry. Fight it. I will win this. I will win this battle. I will win. I will win. I may take the last time this transmission has seen daylight. <laughs> that worked. Alright. Now what? Now what do we do with it? We need to get that thing in the in the van somehow. Huh? You were not helpful. You you were not at all helpful. You, you not at all. Look, look, look what I did. You're in there relaxing. I'm out here slaving away getting this transmission out of here. And that and that's it. You, you, you were not at all helpful. The life of a dog. <laughs> All right, I grab this strap because I'm going to wrap it around the front there and drag it out of there for right now. Got to get it a few steps closer to the van. I will get a hand. I got to lift it up in the, uh, you know, the cargo rack on the back. That's how we'll get to deliver it to the transmission shop. So I will get a hand with that for sure. All right. We're just going to loop her around there. Give her a couple of wraps. Come along. I should go get the tractor. Hook the strap up and drag it with the tractor. All right, I do some vehicles around here. Got the Fiesta out of the way. Put the van over, put the cargo rack on the back of it. And, and you can probably lose a few pounds on this transmission. So I'll go ahead and take this torque converter off. It should just slide right out. I'm surprised it hasn't just slid and fallen out already. I don't think any fluid's gonna come out of here. I just, I didn't, I walk through here all the time. I really don't even wanna kill it kill a spot in the grass with it here if anything maybe a drip or two uh, let's hope let's just hope um, I don't make a mess here I don't think so I hope not should come right out nice and easy there we go come on come on all right what could it possibly be hanging up on <laughs> Of course, transmission guys out there say, well, you gotta give it the special jiggle. Yeah. You gotta give it the special jiggle. Like that. It's the special jiggle, jiggle and rotate. And no, and no, we are not reusing the, the old torque converter. So, uh, transmission get rebuilt, torque converter replaced with new or remanufactured. I don't even know if these are available brand new anymore. I think um, they're all just, they're all remanufactured. Eh, somehow they got a special tool, they cut them open and, you know, remanufacture them. <laughs> all right, that's, that's probably lost 10 pounds. I don't know. It's definitely lighter, okay? Most definitely. You were zero help. You, you were no help at all. What are you looking for? Come here. There's there's nothing in the garage for you. And now we're looking. I know I move vehicles. All right. My buddy, come out. Give me a hand. It's uh it's here. Uh, tomorrow I'm actually probably put a piece of wood underneath of it, and uh and uh put a couple of ratchet straps over it. Get it all strapped down secure. 
and uh, get this thing over to the transmission shop. What is it? You want to go for a ride in the van? Okay. Let's go drop that transmission off, girl. I'm coming. Let me lock up. All right, all right, go on, go on. Jeez. I don't think that's going anywhere. Okay, double, double bungee there. Good tight strap. We're not going real far. So, about five or six miles. Yeah, it's a little further than that, but uh, it's not going anywhere. All right, that's it. We're gonna we're gonna drop this thing here off the transmission shop, and it'll be in it'll be in their hands. <laughs> we can get on with things for a while. You know what? There are some people in this world that are just a pleasure uh, to be around. Um, the, the guy, the, the owner of that shop, is just such a good guy, and we have fun conversation, and we kid and joke around back and forth. Um, it puts a smile on my face, uh, just hanging out for a while. Uh, <laughs> makes me laugh. I, it's just such a joy to um, run into those kind of people uh, that give you joy, that, that's... Um, just fun uh, and nice to be around. I just love running into those kind of people. We could use more of those. Anyway, we're gonna get back to um, get back to things now uh, while that's going. I told him no hurry. You know, you can use it for uh, fill and work. Uh, you know, if you gotta, there's no rush. Uh, it's not as rushed as the van. I really needed the van back. If you want to just um, take it, uh, it's well. He says, what do you have in mind? I said, I don't know, a couple of weeks. I would like to, how's two weeks sound? That gives me time to go mess around, do other things, and catch up with some other stuff. And he's up, up, he says, that's no problem. He says, we'll easily have it in two weeks, uh, even as Phil and work. So, um, although they're a very busy shop, um, they will have it done. Anyway, um, all right, so we're gonna get back to the garage. I gotta clean up the aftermath of the uh, this project here and so we can get on to some other things maybe we'll go on another little trip or something Bella says that works for me we can go, we can, <laughs> we can go another trip huh girl alright that's all I got I'll see you next time <laughs>